we're filming. <laughs> That's it. Uh, so, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Serena, hence the intro. That's so, Rena, you get it, corny, I know, but that's just how we are here. Um, so, today's a little different. I have my MacBook right here today, and I kind of moved my setting around because I did the, um, the baby shower you guys seen. I kind of like how this is looking. You guys let me know. I was gonna do a get ready with me at first, but y'all, it's that time of the month and I don't feel like doing it. Um, yeah, so instead, I got this fruit bowl that was left from the baby shower that nobody touched and they left it at my house and I said, oh, you snooze, you lose, but hey. Um, also, I have this sparkling <laughs> that was left because you know, my baby mamas, they couldn't get pregnant. I mean, <laughs> my baby mamas, they couldn't get drunk. So we had the cider. You feel me? <laughs> so I'm about to pour up. You understand? I really could just drink it out the bottle. I'm the only one here anyway. <laughs> you don't like my pajamas? I got matching pants too. Okay, I got them from Target. No, where did I get this from? I think I did get this from Target. Or no, or maybe Marshalls. Mm. So I guess we can just have like a little chat. Because it's some stuff like I'm going through. It is just on me. Heavy. To talk about it. I don't know why. There's nothing new about what I'm going through. But I just feel inspired to share it a little bit. So, as I said in the beginning, I said I was not feeling well. But, honestly, I don't feel well every month. Um, I don't, if some of you may not know this, but I, let's rewind. Um, I was married before. And, you know... Married people, they want babies, they expect babies. And let me just go ahead and get this out of the way. Um, that marriage did not last long. I hope y'all can't hear my AC that just came on, but that marriage did not last long. It was right out of high school. Uh, so it didn't last long at all. Um, I'm trying to keep my head down so the reflection is in my uh, glasses. But yeah, that marriage did not last long. Just for plenty of reasons, it didn't last long. Um, and I don't really feel any kind of way about it not lasting. More so to the fact that I didn't listen to the people around me. <laughs> like, So, yeah. That's not on that. Um, my health has not always been in good shape. I want to say around... 11th 12th grade I noticed something was weird um my cycles have always been heavy and extremely painful um I did I started my cycle very late this is a lot of TMI for all the guys watching if you want to hear about this kind of stuff then keep on watching but just just a forewarning if you're not into all this stuff then don't keep watching let me know you made it this far but then you can tune out because I'm about to get, you know, personal. Um, so, yeah, my cycles have always been very painful to the point where medication, it just makes me throw up. Um, on, on top of that, I was dealing with anxiety and all this other stuff. I had a doctor for my anxiety. Um, she had gave me these pills, but when I took them, it made me feel like I was literally a walking zombie, you know, like I felt like this. And then, but without them, I, it, I was starting to get codependent on them. So I just stopped them. I don't like habits. I don't like stuff like that. So when I realized my cycles were too bad, I told my dad, because my dad raised me, if you didn't know. Um... I told my dad, we went to the OBGYN, obviously he didn't come in with me, but 
Yeah, he was like, for the questioning part, he was there. Um, and um, they put me on Depo Provera, the shot. When I was on the shot, you're supposed to go and get the shot every three months. I did not have my period for an entire year. 12 months, no cycle. Okay? Um, so obviously, I'm not getting pregnant, but I'm having no cycle. So then I was like, you know, I don't want to be backed up. Eventually, I will want to have kids. So I came off of the depot. When I came off the depot, it took a whole nother 12 months for my cycle to come back and start like occurring. And when it started occurring, it came with vengeance and it was just random. Like it wasn't on no calendar. I couldn't track it. It just, whenever it felt like it, it happened. So yeah. Um, so I was dealing with that. Went back to OBGYN and I was told that I had cysts all over my ovaries on one of my um, fallopian tubes. Um, one of my fallopian tubes is blocked so I'm only producing half the amount of eggs as a normal woman would right and yeah I have endometriosis so my cycles are like they're intense guys um, so today is the first day of my cycle I wasn't going to do anything at all today usually I don't even eat the first three days of my cycle it's really really bad um, yeah, my cycle was three days late this time and I've been taking prenatals to try to like, you know, balance out. It's good stuff in prenatals, right? Um, and for a second, I was getting a little worried, you know, three days late, boo. Um, but then it came on, so, yep, not pregnant. Um, I don't really know where I'm going with that, but, um, People have been seeing me bloated and glowing, they say, um, but not pregnant. It's going to be very unlikely that I'm pregnant. I would love to be, but like I would, if I was right now, it wouldn't be the end of the world and it would actually be a relief that I can do it, but I'm not pregnant. I should take the sticker off, but I won't. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, I don't know why it just came over me to have this conversation with you guys. I don't even know where this is going. I just felt like bringing it up. <laughs> but, yeah. Um, so, my next topic is going to be... Um... Mm, I guess YouTube um I don't really know what direction or what my niche is per se because I just want to be like informative like I understand that y'all want content okay I, I get it trust me okay because when my favorite youtubers upload I'm like ah yes <laughs> I think with me is I don't know what else I can do like well I know I can, what I can do but I just don't want it to not make sense you know when I started I was trying to do makeup 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 didn't work as I've said this before um, then I switched over to vlogs only vlogging I, I, I was doing every week I had to put out a vlog and then it switched to every month I was putting out a vlog so yeah um, then after that, I started doing content. I started engaging more on my Instagram and now my engagement is going up. So maybe I should ask my Instagram what they want from me because I really don't know right now. Um, yeah, plus dealing with all this health stuff, um, it kind of takes a toll on me. I really try to play it off like, um... Like right now, I'm in like immense pain. Like I can't even, I took the medication, but it's just like a dull pain now. It's not like, it doesn't subside it, it just minimizes it, if that makes sense to you guys. Like imagine, imagine that you broke your leg, right? And when you walk on it, it hurts, right? 
but with the brace on it gives you a little support but it still hurts that's what pain medication does to my cramps okay so i can only imagine anything worse than that okay we're not talking about a, a normal length of time in pain it could be eight nine days maybe for me okay sometimes it'll only be three Sometimes it'll be, I mean, when is it going to, I need, maybe I need a doctor. I how am I still alive type. <laughs> I keep laughing, but it's really not funny and it's really painful, but this is how I cook. So I ate all, ooh, my boyfriend's going to be mad at me. I ate all the pineapples and grapes out of here. And I don't want the strawberries. They made me a little nauseous. Maybe I'll eat a cantaloupe. <laughs> also, I've been debating on whether or not I want to cut my hair. I would show y'all my hair, but it is like bad. This is bad. I gotta put this back up. No, no, no. I was like, I might as well just cut it off because I really don't, I really don't have any attachment to it. It's always under a wig. Y'all never see it. Like. <laughs> And when I did have it going, um, like I used to have my silk press or whatever, like every two weeks, keeping up with it. I was doing better than I thought I would be doing with keeping up with it. But then the virus hit. So I was like, you know, I'm not going to silk press my hair myself. So I really just let it go. I would wash it, but then I would put it in a bun and put it right away, right back on it. So I don't have any attachment to my hair to keep it. Um, this is like the healthiest my hair has been. Well, pre-quarantine. That was three months ago. We started this quarantine thing. So, three months ago my hair was healthy. And now it looks like carpet. <laughs> Pretty much. I'm sure if I took it out right now and washed it, I'd be fine. But I don't have any attachment to my texture. And to be honest, guys, having 4C hair is a lot. Okay? Like, my pattern is 4C. And I know it is. And I can tell by the looks I get, the things that I'm told. Like, if I wear my hair in a natural stage and I'm by somebody with 3C hair or that really nice... Uh, well, all hair is nice. With the coily texture instead of the kinky texture, it's... Oh, how did you come out like this? Like, these are the comments I'm getting. Not from online. In real life, I'm getting... Oh, well, why does she look like this? And you look like this? And why does... Um, why is your hair, why doesn't your hair do this when it's wet? Why does it do this when it's wet? And it gets all, t -t -t -t. but hers is like, you see what I'm saying? Like, well, what happened with you? And it's just a lot. It's just a lot. I don't have any attachment to it. I don't get any, um, positivity about it. And it's, it's really sad. It's really sad. I thought filming this video and saying, speaking my like out loud would make me feel better but really it's all over the place and it kind of just is making me like think deeper on each subject it's, i'll keep y'all postponed in regards to my hair if you guys want a full fertility like video regarding my health i'm more than happy to walk y'all through it the more i learn the more i'll express to you guys because i know i'm not the only one that's going through something like this it just doesn't feel like it could be you until it is you you know what i mean sorry if this was a little down for you guys i hate when my energy is down for you guys like for real this needs some actual alcohol in it so we can get turned up sis okay so we can get turned the hell up So I'm just going to go ahead and end the video here because I don't know where I was going in the conversation and I ate all the good fruit out and I drank my sparkling. <laughs> I'll just go ahead and put this in the so I'm sorry I was looking down majority of this video. I'm just not used to a MacBook. My boyfriend bought me a MacBook. Oh, I'm trying to let y'all see the logo. But yeah guys, remember to like, comment, and subscribe and let me know what kind of videos you guys want from me in the future. Um, I'm trying to get a consistent um, upload schedule. So I have decided Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays are my upload days. 
if I feel like doing more than that, I will. But as for now, just so you guys will know, it will be Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. I will be uploading. So hopefully all those other days, I'll be able to just film the content and edit it in time, especially now that I have a MacBook. Oh, let me know if you guys have Final Cut Pro because I'm trying to decide if I wanna spend $300 for Final Cut Pro um, on my uh, laptop versus iMovie. So let me know because I know that um, Final Cut Pro has a lot of plugins that might be more beneficial once I do find my niche. So yeah. Yeah guys, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. That's all I have for you. Except I have two more videos right here on the screen if you're more interested in my content. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.